Hey, what's up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan. We are gonna do some quick practice to help us better understand the relationships between KA, KB, and KW. Now, it's important to keep in mind that on your formula chart, you were provided with those relationships. The first one is that KW is equal to KA times KB. And the second one is to recognize that PKW is equal to PKA plus PKB. And when we're at 25 degrees Celsius, KW is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14, which leaves us with this expression at 25 degrees Celsius and this expression at 25 degrees Celsius. Again, these formulas are provided to you on the formula chart as is the constant when you're at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, now let's keep these relationships in the back of our mind. Just gonna place them right up here for us to remember for always and forever. Let's take a look at our first conjugate acid-base pair. Our acid is HSO4 minus, and when I place that in water, it's going to create an equilibrium to form SO4 two minus and hydronium. Again, recognize that this is our acid because it's gonna be donating hydrogen ions to our conjugate base because it's what's left over after the hydrogen ion has been donated. Now, let's take a look and see what information I'm provided with in my data table. All I'm given is the KB of my conjugate base. I need to find the KA of my acid, the PKA of my acid, and the PKB of my conjugate base. I'm gonna start with this relationship here. We're gonna assume 25 degrees Celsius. So KW is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. I'm looking for KA, and I'm told that the KB value for the conjugate base is 7.7 .7 times 10 to the minus 13. I can then solve for KA simply using a quick division. 1.0, E, negative 14, close parentheses, divided by 7.7, .7, second E, negative 13, close parentheses, answer. So the KA for my acid here is gonna be 1.3 times 10 to the negative two. I'm gonna transfer that to my data table, 1.3 times 10 to the negative two. Now my pKa is just the negative log of my Ka value. So I'm gonna just take negative log of that Ka value to get a pKa of 1.88. Next, to determine my pKb, I'm just gonna take the negative log of my Kb value, 7.7 .7 second E, negative 13. We get 12.11. Now, what is my value when I multiply Ka times Kb, and what is my value when I add pKa plus pKb? Let's multiply Ka and Kb together first. We get 1.3 second E, negative two, times 7.7 .7 second E, Negative 13. Close parentheses. I get 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. Now, let's add our pKa and our pKb. 1.88 plus 12.11. Enter. We get 13.99. I want to do one more example here. Let's take a look at this one. Here I've got the ammonium ion acting as an acid. When I place that in water, I'm going to create an equilibrium situation in which I form ammonia, NH3 and hydronium ion. So notice here that I'm provided with my Ka for ammonium and the Kb for the ammonia. First thing I'm gonna do is simply throw in the ammonia to clarify that that's my conjugate base. Now, in order to determine the pKa from my Ka, I'm simply gonna take the negative log of my Ka value. 5.6 second E, negative 10, close parentheses, and I get a pKa of 9.25. Do the same thing with my conjugate base. In order to get the pKb, I'm going to take the negative log of my value, which is 1.8 second E, negative 5, close parentheses, 4.75 as my pKb value. Again, let's figure out what the product of my Ka and Kb values will be. Parentheses, 5.6 second E, negative 10, times 1.8 second E, Negative five. Close parentheses. Enter. What do you know? We get 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. If I add my pKa 9.25 plus to my Kb 4.75, I get 14. 
Okay, so a couple of really important things here before we go. Notice that, that Ka times Kb is always going to equal 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. And pKa plus pKb is always going to equal 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. You should ignore the small variability that we have here that's due to rounding. It's also important to recognize that the larger your Ka value is, the smaller your Kb value, and vice versa. And keep in mind that the size of the equilibrium constant, Ka or Kb, is telling you relative strength of that acid or base. I encourage you to take some time to try some of these other ones, and each time you should notice that the product of your Ka and Kb is going to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14, and the sum of your pKa plus your pKb will equal 14. Have a fantastic day.